Hello everybody, welcome to today's video where today I am going to be creating an action RPG which will be divided into multiple different videos. Before we move on, I just want to do a quick demonstration of what we are going to be creating over the next few episodes. We have a character who has full-fledged animations and attack animations as well as a scrolling background, interactable objects, and there are entities in the game which you can kill. So that is what I am going to be creating over the next few episodes, but for today we are just going to do the walk animations, and in the later episode we will do the attack animations, but not yet. So right here, I have my RPG tutorial series and my player with a preset of different costumes. The costumes have to be named very specifically because that is how the animating works. And the method for getting the animations done is from Chromeworks Technology, Chromeworks the channel, um, and honestly, they're a great channel. You should check them out. The link will be in the description. So, straight away we have our walk animations for all different directions, and our idle, so when the player is not moving in the different directions for that. So let's begin with our code. Starting off, one green flight collect. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to go to the front layer and then switch the costume to a specific costume, which will be the starting position of the player, which I want to be the S idol, which if I show you is this. I want it to be facing the screen when it starts. And I'd say this is a pretty good start. Then I'm going to grab a broadcast new message, reset player, okay, so this is going to be broadcasting the reset player, when I receive reset player, we want a forever loop, and we're going to make two blocks, both of which are not going to have a screen refresh, so we're going to set this one to set animation, with three inputs, name, wait time, and looping. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side, and I'm gonna put that above the forever loop, and then I'm gonna make another one called move player. Move player right there. So when I receive, so defining the move player, we're going to grab four if then statements. We're going to grab a key, And we're going to change this to W, um, A, S, and then D. And these are the keys I prefer to use. You can use the arrow keys, but I'm not going to use that. Then I'm going to make a variable for this right only. Moved this frame. And we're going to set move this frame to zero at the top. And then within each of these keys, we're going to set move this frame to 1. So, just like that, we're going to do that. Then we're going to grab an if-then-else. And if move this frame is equal to 1, then we're going to grab these if-then-else statements. I'm just going to duplicate them to save time. And if the specific keys are pressed, then we're going to set our animation. And we're going to have the name, wait time, and looping. So looping, if you don't want it to loop, you can leave it blank or put in a zero. If you do want it to loop, you put in a one. I want it to loop. The wait time is going to be the amount of time a frame shows before changing. So in this case, I want it to be 0.07, which we'll see. And then we want the animation name, which is going to depend on the name of the actual costumes. So I'm going to say W, A, S, and D. Then I'm going to make a variable, animation key, for this sprite only. And I'm going to set the animation key to W, A, S, Redo, duplicate S and D. 
And we're going to put these into each of the different keys. So we've got D, S, A, and W. Then we're going to grab an if statement. And we're going to grab an equal. And if equal, 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 equal. If the animation key is equal to the specific value we're setting it at, so we have W, A, S, and D, then we're going to set our animation to the specific idle. So I'm going to say the D idle, which means that we want it to be the this to show, and then we're going to change it. So S idle, A idle, and W idle. I'm going to make this loop. And then I'm just going to put in a time 0 0.07 since that's the one I'm going to use most commonly for the player sprite here. So as you can see, we now have our little animation, like as in our setup for what we want it to animate. But it's not going to animate now. As you can see, if I press WASD, it's not doing anything. That is because we haven't actually set the animation to anything. So we're going to make four variables, all of which are for this sprite only. Animation name, animation wait time, sorry, wait time, animation ended, and animation looping. I'm going to set the animation wait time to this wait time. Then we're going to grab an if, not, and an equal. If the animation name is not equal to the name, so that, then we're going to set animation ended to zero, set the animation name to name, and set the animation looping to looping. And then we're going to switch the costume to the animation name. Uh, animation name. And we'll just decide a little bit more. Then I'm going to grab a when I receive reset player. And we're going to say forever, wait, animation wait time seconds, next costume, just like that. We're going to grab an if statement, and if not contains, apple contains a, if the costume name does not contain the animation name, then we're going to grab an if then else, animation looping, animation looping equal to one, then switch the costume to animation name. If not, and in the else, we're going to say switch costume to costume number minus one. And then we're going to say, set the animation ended to 1, and wait until the animation ended variable is equal to 0. And let's start the game. As you can see, we now have all of our directions. And if I stop at S, it's going to switch to S, A, A, D, D, W, and W. So that is basically going to be the animation. And then in our set animation here, I'm just going to say S idle 0.07 and 1. And that's going to set it at the beginning so that everything works out fine. So that's it for today, guys. This was the animation. In the next video, I am going to be doing the scrolling system for the RPG. It's honestly going to be a very, very short video. So... Definitely check that out when it comes out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!